Fam Review. Hey guys, World Editor here. Today, we're gonna to be going over another familiar that we're going to be adding to our Fam Review playlist, and that is going to be Demeter. Now, Demeter is super awesome. He comes with 18% deflect chance and 5% water damage. Now, before I go ahead and continue, I do want to go ahead and stress this. You guys definitely want to have at least one deflect chance tank in your arsenal. Maybe not on your team for every scenario, but you do want to have one on the side for when you need it. Trust me, I've needed deflect for so many reasons. I've needed it to pass flags. I've needed it to pass D4s. I've needed it just for one boss in a D4. So I would only bring him for that one boss as a sacrifice. But trust me, you need deflect. Deflect is nice to have. If you don't have a deflect tank and you don't know what else to farm and you feel like your team is pretty much complete, it's not. You need to get a deflect chance familiar, whether it's Demeter, Jello, even Eulerius is nice, but you want to get at least a legendary or better if you want to have a decent one in your arsenal. That way you could stack your pumps higher. But anyways, let's get back onto it. For the stat spread, I'm not really feeling the speed for Demeter, but it's not too bad. It's still okay. They have pretty decent stats all around. They are one of the middle ground uh, deflect familiars, if you ask me. But in my opinion, he's still very, very solid. Let's go on to the build. Of course, you want to stack nothing but deflect chance all the way. Deflect, 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 deflect. You don't want anything else. And that's, uh, as of right now in tier 19, just deflect. Now, for the chip, it really just depends on you. I like to have a little bit of damage reduction. That way, I'm just a little bit tankier since my health is a little lower than some of the other tanks. I do prefer to have some damage reduction. Let's go ahead and check out the brain. I have an attack weakest enemy when I get hit. Now, the reason why I have that is because I want to try to get rid of the bait as soon as possible. Once I do, I'll be able to target out the DPS because they tend to be lower health than the tanks, of course. So I personally just like having attack weakest when I get hit, but that's only if I use Demeter anywhere other than D-Force. Most of the time, brain augments are disabled when I'm using Demeter in a D4, which is why I use Deflect to begin with, so I can find a way to dish damage back. But anyways, if I do have a brain on him, it usually is weakest or closest. But weakest is what I tend to like using the most. You can also use a defensive brain, which would probably be something like uh, spread, heal, and shield would probably be the best case scenario for him. But I personally like an offensive attack weakest brain on him from my testing. Now, of course, you're going to want redirect. You're going to want him to be taking as many of the hits as possible so he can be dishing it all out right back to the enemy team if you have a mythic one even better mythic pumps all the way here if you can help it i unfortunately only have perfect legendaries which is what i'm working with right now now for these skills you can see here that we have um deals water damage to the closest enemy pretty cool little animation there deals water damage and drain from the closest enemy now the drain is really nice that's some sustain right there and we have a lot of drain abilities on this, believe it or not. Deals water damage and drain from the furthest enemy. So he pretty much just lets you pick who you want, whether it's closest or furthest. And here is a very good one because it's a lot, a lot of damage for the same amount of SP, but it is a random enemy. Deals water damage and drain from random enemy. Now, it's pretty good, especially if you know more or less who you're going to hit isn't going to really hurt you back, like offensive brain wise or anything like that. If you just need to damage one target and that's all that's left, this is going to be your go to ability here. Unless they don't have an offensive brain, then you want to use swarm if you have the amount of SP that it requires, which is deals water damage to random enemy five times. Now, that's five times. OK, that's a pretty beefy amount of times. So. That's a pretty good ability if you know that the augment on the enemy um, isn't going to be killing you like crazy. But just know that it is a random enemy five times. It's not five random enemies. It's a random enemy five times. So you are going to hit that enemy five times. If you're going to if you're thinking you're going to hit a bunch of enemies like different ones, you're incorrect. You're going to hit that same one five times. So keep that in mind when using this skill. Use this skill with caution. Your main skills are going to be any of the first four, but I would just stick to the first three if you really, really are scared of augments and don't know what you're dealing with, like in a D4, for example. So yeah, that's going to be it for Demeter when it comes to his skills and augment layout. 
we're going to go on to his build or how to make him. So we're going to start off by showing that Demeter needs one Tartaru, one Hestia, 15 Coraliner, and 100k gold for one Demeter. Now we're going to go ahead and start off down here with Tartaru. Tartaru, for one of them, of course, you're going to need one Daverick. And Daverick is going to be in the Chart Expanse Tier 11 raid right here. Card Expanse, Tier 11, as you can see here, Tier 11 Loot Drops. Now, it's not too bad if you can really just get these guys just by bribing them, or not bribing them, persuading them with gold. So it's not too bad. Just make sure that you do always try to persuade raid familiars. You never know when you're going to need them. You don't need too many. You only need seven to make, or sorry, six to make one max stable Demeter, which is not that bad. If you feel like you want to bribe them, then go for it. Because in my opinion, if you're bribing Epic Familiars, there's nothing wrong with it if you don't plan to stick in that tier for a while. Now, we also have Blory here, which is going to be a tier 10 familiar. I believe they're going to be in the Broken Abyss, yes. And I believe that is zone 10 D2. Yeah, zone 10 for sure. And you're only going to need one of them as well. Rare familiar, very easy to get. You're going to have a lot of them by the time you come here. Trust me, I believe it is the same spot you farm for Blinka if you want to get the mermaids or whatever they're called. Now, we also have a chill row, which is also tier 10, but I don't believe it's the same flag. Elemental calling. No, it's going to be zone 10 D1. And you only need one of them. They're a common familiar. You're going to have them like crazy. You're also going to need 10 Coraliner each, so that's already going to equal 60 just from Tartaru if you want to have a max stable. Now we're going to go on to the next familiar, which is going to be Hestia. Hestia is going to be the other familiar needed to make Demeter. Hestia is pretty cool. Hestia needs Gala. Now Gala is going to be a raid familiar from the tier 10 raid in Gorbin's Rock and Ruckus. You can do the same thing you did for uh, Daverick, just persuade them with gold. But if you didn't get that many on your pass through and you really just want to get what you can and get out, you can consider bribing them with gems. Again, there's nothing wrong with that, but it's all up to you. <laughs> now we're going to go on to LL, which I believe is found in the same spot as Chilro. Yes, it's going to be in the same spot as Chilro, which is going to be zone 10 D1, tier 10, of course. And then last but not least for the familiars you have to farm is going to be Uggs. Now, again, there's one of each of these. Don't, 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 <laughs> don't think you need a lot of these. It's one for each and a total of six each if you want to max stable one. So Uggs is going to be found in Rexy's Plateau, which is zone four. Yes, zone four D1. So Uggs, very easy. You should have all of these by the time you get there. Honestly, if you farmed Rexy at all, you should have plenty of Uggs. And you're also going to need 10 Coraliner. So that's 60 from here as well. 60 and 60, that's 120 right off the bat. And then we're going to come over here to Demeter and you're going to see that you do need 15 each. So that is going to be a lot of Coraliner. I believe it's going to be around 210 for all of them to have or for all the core liner you need it's going to be around 210 for one max stable demeter and it's going to be 35 coral for each other demeter you want to add to your team so you're going to need 210 core liner for sure if you want to max stable along with seven or six of each familiar so you can make demeter now honestly demeter is very amazing where do i recommend you use demeter you could use him honestly Anywhere, Demeter's pretty solid, but does that mean he's going to be better than your traditional block or damage reduction tank? Of course not. It really just depends on where you're taking them. I recommend trying them whenever you're having trouble using your block or damage reduction tanks in certain areas. Maybe you just need to deflect some damage back to those other familiars, and maybe that's just what you need to get past certain flags or beat certain bosses in dungeons or anything like that. So consider using him just about anywhere. I personally don't think he's too great in PvP, but that's just me. If you guys want to try him, go right for it. Go ahead. I don't mind. But again, I do recommend other familiars for PvP unless he is all you got. Thank you so much for stopping by. If you guys have any questions, leave them in the comments below. If you guys have any familiars you want me to go over in the future, leave them down there as well. You got any tips as a veteran player? Leave them down there. I know a bunch of people would love to read those. Again, thank you so much for stopping by. This is World Leader. Have a great one, guys. Peace.